What's going on guys and welcome back to another vlog today from Waldemere in Erie, Pennsylvania. This park opened in 1896. It's an old park and there's a lot of history here, lots of classic rides. And we're starting off our day by getting an epic view of this place. There's a science museum right across the street with a free observation deck. It's really pretty views. You got Lake Erie right there. Yeah, so that's uh, Ravine Flyer 2. That's the park's headlining attraction. An awesome gravity group wooden roller coaster that I can't wait to get back on. I have been to this park, but it's been five years. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that's riding. And it's your guys' first time. And it's my 250th credit. Guys, what are we thinking going into Waldemere? Um, I'm excited because I love a good small park and I love a good wooden roller coaster. So perfect for me. Yeah, no, I'm excited because I've heard lots about this place and it just looks really cute. It reminds me of Quasi. It's very much a lot in common with Quasi in terms of the size of the park and also the classic feel of it. Yeah, this is a cool place. I really look forward to getting in here. Yeah, and the location. I mean, check out the water, man. That's so beautiful. And also too, it's not surprising that not too many enthusiasts get up to Erie, Pennsylvania to come here. I mean, it's in the absolute middle of nowhere, like literally in this sliver of coastline that Pennsylvania has in between Ohio and New York. Yeah, let's head on in, get some rides. In. So Waldemere is one of those unique free to enter parks where you can either pay with something that they call Wally Bucks or you can get a wristband and we're going to be doing that. It's $38.50 for a Waldemere only, no water world, so no water slides. Wristband, that's $38.50. Not a bad deal at all. Well, it's great to be back inside the park. It's really a charming place, beautifully landscaped, really classic feel to it. Definitely has that carnival vibe, but it's a lot nicer than your average carnival. All right, first up today is gonna be Comet, which opened in 1951. Very unique, classic PTC wooden coaster with an interesting curved loading station. If you've done like the Woodstock Express coasters at the Cedar Fair Park, this is very, very similar. It's nothing thrilling at all. We're getting all the coasters in before Ravine Flyer so that Sam can make that her 200 50 which yeah. is gonna be awesome yeah yeah this is a fun ride <laughs> yeah they have a lot of statues like that around the park really interesting place but it has a nice vibe to it little lift hill not a big ride but it's fun comet nice location for this one too here we go family coaster. Just got our ride on Comet. Not a bad little ride, you know, it's fairly unique. It's got a good layout, it's got a good setting. Kind of fly by the water park a little bit. Yeah, good views on that. Tiny little bit of air time, not much, but it's fun for a family coaster. I do approve of that. Yeah, it was adorable. It's a small scale Woody. It doesn't have any air time or anything in my experience, but like, it's great for kids. It's so smooth, it's, it's just adorable. I loved it. <laughs> Yeah, that was probably like the cutest coaster I've ever ridden, if that makes any <laughs> sense. Like, it didn't really have much airtime and like forces. I mean, we rode in the middle, but still. Um, it was just a cute little fun ride. It wasn't rough or anything. Like, I feel like that'd be a great first coaster. Yeah, I wish more parks had small little woodies like that. I mean, I've always loved the little Woodstock Express coasters at the Cedar Fair yeah, Park. It's kind of like that. It's very, very similar. Somehow yeah, but, even smaller. Yeah, it is, but it's fun. It's a good ride. All right, we're gonna make our way to our next coaster. Not sure what it'll be yet. I think maybe it'll be Steel Dragon, which is a nice spinning coaster. Very very fun ride. Next up is going to be Steel Dragon, which opened in 2004, manufactured by Mauer. It's actually a clone layout. If you've been on Laugh Track at Hershey Park, it's the same thing, but located outdoors. And this is a fun ride. Very good family coaster, actually. Very smooth. Pretty fast lift hill on this one. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wait till you guys see this view. Look at the lake. Oh, it's beautiful, though. Woo! <laughs> And th this is where I believe you start spinning. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh god. Woo! Woo! Ah! Oh! Nice layout. Oh! 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 I love that. Oh. That's so fun. A little back and forth. Literally. Oh! My balls. Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! 
It's so weird riding laugh track outdoor. Uh -huh. Whoa! Oh! Whoa. 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 Uh, that was not bad. That was fun. Yeah, it's fairly smooth. That was fun, Steel Dragon. I really enjoyed that. Nice, smooth family coaster, with the exception of some of the brakes. Those aren't the smoothest, but everything else is very comfortable on that. Yeah, it's really fun. I really like how you have that first drop on the first turn where you're not spinning, and then it starts spinning, so it's cool, you know? It is really weird riding that outdoor, because I'm so used to laugh track. I've definitely ridden that the most of all these layouts around the world. But there's a couple of clones of these. We're actually going to be doing one at Seabreeze on this same trip. <laughs> yeah, it's that fun. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I love the spinning coaster. They're fun. That was fun. It wasn't too like rough or jerky or anything. There's a couple moments where I got slammed, but it was all right. Mostly the brakes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's fun. It's weird riding it in outdoors. All right, next coaster I believe is going to be Whirlwind, another spinning coaster that they added just right by here. It's actually a new coaster. It opened just like I think two years ago. New credit for me. Let's go. Actually, after looking it over, this opened in 2020, so it's a little older than I thought. This is an SBF Visa spinning coaster. These are all over the damn place. They're at family entertainment centers. They're at small amusement parks like Waldemere. Yeah, they're uh, they're decent. I mean, they're fun for what they are. And I think as far as like small kids coasters are concerned, these are decent for sure. Hopefully this doesn't suck too bad. Some of these can be rough, others are not so bad. But regardless, the layout's not anything crazy on this. Just a little figure eight. It's like a kiddie coaster. Oh. <laughs> it's not bad. It's it's whatever. It just doesn't do much. Yeah, it really doesn't. I guess kids like this is a really good ride for them. Yeah. All right, Ravine Flyer Three. Pretty weird name, honestly. I mean, Ravine Flyer Two is their headlining attraction, and it's so much bigger than this, and really does not resemble this at all. But it's a coaster to be getting. The water features here are underrated. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really a well-presented like, ride, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, this park actually does a really good job with presentation all over the place. Even the Ferris wheel positioning is fantastic. Oh! Enough Myler does make some of the best kiddie coasters around. These actually have a little bit of force to them. All right, enough dilly-dallying. It's finally time to get on the park's headlining attraction, Ravine Flyer 2. Now you may be wondering what Ravine Flyer 2 even means, because why is it the second iteration of this? Actually, there's a lot of cool facts over here. So this is the second iteration of the original Ravine Flyer that also crossed over a road. That's like the main feature of this ride. And then they brought it back. The Gravity Group came in and built a whole refined layout. This thing is awesome. It gets rave reviews. There's a reason people come out to Waldemere, even though it's so remote and hard to get to. But yeah, that old Ravine Flyer operated from 1922 to 1938. It didn't last long. This new one opened in 2008 and has been thrilling riders ever since. This is an excellent wooden roller coaster. I can't wait to take you guys on. It's also very much a terrain coaster at the name Ravine Flyer 2. It's amazing. The height of the lift hill is only 80 feet, but the drop on the other side is 115 or something like that. Pretty wild, man. Let's get a ride. Up we go in Ravine Flyer 2. Gravity Group wooden roller coaster. Awesome terrain layout, love this ride. I love how you have the USA and Canada, Canada flags, flags at the top. Cause you can actually see Canada from the top on a clear day. That's where we're going later. Yep, we're going to Canada tonight. We got Canada's Wonderland tomorrow. Stay tuned for that vlog. But yeah, the flags. view is just absolutely gorgeous from up here of Lake Erie. Everyone talks about Cedar Point, but this is just as much of a Lake Erie coaster. Here we go. That's a front row ride in my opinion. Getting launched over those hills in the first half. All right, we're on the back row of Ravine Flyer 2. This is gonna be sweet, man. My first ride, 250th credit. I'm so Woo, excited. Let's 
do it. This is a little powerhouse. There's a reason people call it Mini Voyage. Let's go. Fun, yeah. Ravine Flyer 2, awesome to get back on that epic wooden coaster. Absolutely love the layout of that, following the terrain. It's a brilliant design from the Gravity Group and proves once again why that company is one of my favorites in the industry. And their continuation from CCI, who is also one of my favorite companies in the industry. So yeah, it's just amazing, honestly. These people are so talented at what they do. Yeah, lots of airtime on that. I love the tunnels on this. It really accentuates the speed and the airtime. It's great. Really well paced. Until the second half, I would say, it gets a little bit meandery, I feel like. That's why I don't rank this coaster as high as maybe some people do, but I still adore the Ravine Flyer too. I mean, for so many reasons. It's just a brilliant ride. That was so fun. I'm so glad that was my 250th. Yeah, that's it's a good one. It's such a unique ride. It's on the water. It is like a mini voyage, like people yeah. say. Um, definitely the second half does have some pacing issues, but I can get over it because the rest of the layout is just so packed. Like it's it's an awesome ride. It's yeah, so this cool. is definitely a first half ride though. The air yeah. hills consecutively in the tunnels. Oh, it's great. It's there's like so many like big drops. There's so many quick airtime hills. I love going over the road. It's so unique. I love it. Yeah, I love this thing too. I, I also feel... love the flags at the top. I love yeah, when it's there's great. Flags. I love that too. I do feel a little spoiled after doing the Holiday World wooden coasters, but mm -hmm. I still love Ravine Flyer. You know. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's very it's good also ride. It's so good to have in a small park like this. Oh, it's love an it. excellent headlining attraction. Love yeah, it. this park would not be the same without mm -hmm. Ruby Player 2 at all. Yeah, makes this is what makes out. it worth visiting. Yeah, I would highly recommend you visit Waldemere if you're in the area or if you're at Kennywood. It's only like two hour drive. Totally worth it for Ravine Flyer. It's good, right? Yeah, that was much better. Uh, I had her do it in a non wheel, -wheel seat. seat. Wheel seat, yeah. At first, I was like, damn, this is kind of rough. No, it's definitely like a great ride. For me, I prefer in the back. I feel like the airtime is just much better. But yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. I can definitely see how people call that a mini voyage. Let's go. We got the sky Let's ride go. next. Let's go. Oh, I love a sky ride. I'm so glad that this park still has theirs, and it's great going over the midway. These sky rides were great, especially I love the ones where your legs are dangling. Get great views of all the rides. There's Comet coming by. Hell yeah, man. We're getting through all these rides really quick. One thing that makes Waldemere so special is all the non-coaster attractions that are worth riding, like Wacky Shack, which is actually the only Wacky Shack type rides left in the world. It's basically like a haunted house, but it's all very weird theming. It also smells kind of odd inside, like almost like damp in a way. There's really no other ride like this in the world. It's a fascinating experience. Y'all are not ready for how weird this is about to be. It already smells weird, doesn't it? Damn, that was so odd, but I love it on the low. It was scary. I, <laughs> it's just like uncomfortable. I don't like it. 
<laughs> but I'm definitely creative. I'm more scared by the fact that like everything's like dirty and wet as hell. Like that, <laughs> that's what scares me. Like I just don't, I hate it's it. So I hate old. it so much. I scream so goddamn loud. Oh my God. I'm curious to how you guys will find this. Pirate's Cove. It's like a walkthrough version of that. They are not ready for the wacky shenanigans in here. But it doesn't smell anywhere near as weird as Wacky Shack does. It's just like an old, damp, dark ride. <laughs> oh no, the shark infested waters! <laughs> <laughs> These walkways are also narrow. Oh, and now we're in a tilted room. Oh god. We're in a tilted. There's rats! There's rats! Not again! Not again. You guys hated the rats in Wacky Shack. Oh no. These tilted rooms mess with you. I feel like I'm going through Noah's Ark at Kennywood right now. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> Look at it, it's going, it's going. <laughs> what is bro doing? <laughs> you guys are so scary. I hate it, I hate the water. No, not quicksand. <laughs> what is that thing? Why is it peeing? Why is it peeing? Why is it pissing? It's skibbity toilet! Oh my god, that was... Don't make me ever do one of those again. No. <laughs> no. It's just not fun. It's just anxiety inducing. It's so tight. It's so dark. It's so scary. I hated that. <laughs> I I partially brought you guys through it because I knew you wouldn't like it. I hate it. <laughs> hey, let's do the X-Scream drop tower now. This is a Larson model. These things are intense as all hell. Oh, wow, look at this. Surprisingly, a tall drop tower, too. Yeah, these Larson models are crazy. They just drop out of nowhere. So you have no idea when it's coming. But check out Lake Erie, man. Beautiful, beautiful views. Here it goes. Whoa! That was an awesome drop tower. It was so fun. Oh my god. I was it's not, so intense. I was not prepared for that drop. Yeah, that was wild. Those things get me. Like, it Every just comes time. out of nowhere, and then the drop is so intense. Yeah, and the view is great, too. I mean, that's what really makes Waldemere as a location. What in the world? <laughs> Plunger on the head. That's interesting. Lots of yummy food at Waldemere. Got a fresh chocolate chip cookie. Literally bake them in the morning every single day. And a glass of milk as well. Nice short visit to Waldemere. I mean, you really only need a couple hours here. I think we spent three hours in the park, but that was all the time we needed. We, we got five laps on Ravine Flyer 2, which was running excellent, very smooth, lots of airtime. I absolutely loved getting back on that. It's a great wooden coaster. Lots of other non-coasters that I enjoyed. Steel Dragon was a fun spinning coaster. Comet, nice family wooden coaster. It's a nice lineup here, honestly. For a family park, it's really well looked after, really cute little place. I had a lot of fun. I think it's like Knobles and Quasi had a baby, sort of. It was awesome. Yeah, cute little place. I loved it. I love a small park like this. And I love how they have a great headlining attraction. They have so many good flat rides around here. It's so nice. I love the location. I love it here. It's so yeah, cute. Yeah, I forgot to mention the location. That's definitely like the standout thing about this place, right along Lake Erie. And we didn't do the water park today, but it looks great. Oh yeah, the water park looks awesome. Yeah, it's a great it's so water park. so many slides. So. Yep. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. Next up is Canada's Wonderland. Big, big park. I cannot wait to be crossing into Canada for that place. See you guys then. Peace out, everyone.